So today we're opening our uh, Ecosem Next Generation Cement Bagging Facility. What we've done here is we've put the most environmentally friendly uh, product in the world, cement in the world, into a bag for the first time ever. So this means that cement that was usually reserved for projects like the Aviva Stadium or the Convention Center in Dublin or the Cork Civic Offices uh, are now available to the everyday builder or DIYer. So every application, mortars, renders, concrete, whatever you want to do, this will make the concrete better. On top of that, from a, an economic point of view, what we're doing is we're reducing the amount of CO2 released by uh, Ireland. So the cement industry globally is uh, responsible for 5% of global CO2 emissions. This is because every time you produce a ton of cement, you release approximately one ton of CO2. What we're doing here today is bringing down the carbon footprint by between 50 and 60%, depending on which uh, cement you're, you're comparing it to. But we're also increasing the durability of the product, so it lasts longer. It takes about 1.6 tons of uh, raw material to produce a ton of cement. We use a byproduct from the production of steel, funnily enough, to make our cement. Uh, we blend it at our plant on, in Dublin Port and then we ship it here to our bagging facility. Um, our bagging facility here is uh, the result of a 2.5 million investment, has created seven jobs to date. Uh, we're interviewing an eighth, uh, an eighth person this afternoon and uh, as production goes up, employment will increase as we add extra shifts onto, uh, onto production. So we aim to, uh, over the next three years, we'll have invested a total of 19 million in infrastructure in Ireland and created 25 direct jobs and then 36 indirect jobs such as uh, deliveries uh, of our product, uh, marketing services, uh, kind of the, the, the thing that goes around the actual, uh, the actual product. Uh, so we're very, very proud uh, of this project today. It's the result of, of two years of very hard work and we're also very very grateful for the support shown by the minister and the state uh, and uh, it's good to know that we have the backing of the government when it comes to uh, true leadership on uh, reducing carbon emissions in Ireland. In any circumstance where we're creating jobs, uh, jobs related to the construction industry, it's good because the construction industry has obviously taken an enormous hit in the last four or five years. The importance behind this announcement isn't just the job potential or the fact that it's, it's generating jobs in this part of Dublin Port. There's a huge export potential behind new forms of cement. Um, the Office of Public Works, which I minister, we have a responsibility of setting a standard right the way across the public sector in terms of the type of cement and the type of standards we apply within the public sector. And we need to ensure that the type of cement that we use is the most sustainable, the most durable, which gives the best value and also reduces the carbon footprint, which is a key part of our negotiations with the European Union. We've entered into discussions and agreement with the EU that by 2020 we will have reduced by a further 20% our carbon footprint so how we build what we build the type of materials we use in that building is a crucial ingredient in terms of reducing the carbon footprint and a crucial ingredient also in getting the Irish construction industry off its knees we're very confident that as the banks lend more money uh, as we get more confidence in the economy that we will see construction um, over a period of years improving from the very small position it has now in the economy. Obviously it won't go back to the 20% of GDP levels it was at four or five, six years ago, but we need to double it from the very poor levels it's at at the moment. And this development is part and parcel of that good news story.